Happy Sunday, everybody. I'm KHOU 11 meteorologist Pat Catlin here. It's 8 p.m. We do our nightly tropical update for you just to keep you in the loop with all things going on in the Atlantic, the Caribbean, the Gulf as we go through the peak of hurricane season. The good news, the Gulf and the Caribbean are quiet, but we still have that one wave that we are keeping an eye on here in the middle of the Atlantic, now up to a high probability for development. That's as of this evening's update, so it's brand new. Uh, we are expecting something to form out of this wave here in the next two to seven days. So again, 70% chance here, but notice the path that it takes. The area that's highlighted here, instead of going to the west, it takes a turn towards the north. So I think it's going to get caught up in some of the flow here that's happening farther to the north with a nor'easter that's moving through uh, New England right now and also with the remnant circulation of what was Jerry. So uh, all of this, you know, activity here is expected to stay out in the Atlantic. And again, no threats to land at this time. Here's the latest. It is an invest, which means that the National Hurricane Center is keeping a closer eye on it. Um, and that uh, basically they're able to run spaghetti plots or computer simulations on what this system might do. So as of the 1 p.m. advisory, 35 mile per hour winds, it's not well organized. You can see here it's just a cluster of thunderstorms. There's no real circulation to it, which is why right now it's just a wave in the atmosphere. It's not an actual uh, tropical depression or storm. Uh, it's moving northwest already at 22 miles per hour. All of the plots, each one of these white lines here indicates a different computer model and all of the plots continue that northwestward track before eventually turning it to the northeast out to sea and then eventually up towards Europe as we get towards the end of the week. So that's pretty much what we're going to expect with this. The next name on the list, I believe, is Lorenzo. So this is going to stay away from us here uh, in the U.S., away from the Caribbean as well. Now, typically through the month of October, we do look out towards this part of the world for development here in the Caribbean, off the southeast coast of the United States for storm development. And that's because we get cold fronts this time of year that sweep through the southeast and eventually develop little circulation sometimes that can spin up over tropical waters. That's why the hot spots develop here a little closer to home during the month of October. Notice that we're not included in that here in the western Gulf because typically those cold fronts are sweeping things away from us. And so, you know, it's been quiet so far in the Caribbean. This is only one of a handful of years in the last century where so far there hasn't been any activity in the Caribbean. Still got another month or two to go, but overall activity, historically speaking or climatologically speaking, really starts to diminish from this point onward. So the peak of the season was a month ago. We're at the point now where we don't have a lot of the season to go. Uh, hurricane season wraps up November 30th, so we're within that six week window here where things are going to start to really shut down. Um, I would say once we get to November here in Southeast Texas, we really start to um, lose the threat for any tropical systems because by that point we're seeing cold front after cold front after cold front and that just acts as a deterrent for uh, systems to come our way. But we keep an eye on things nonetheless. Uh, eventually we'll be out of the peak of hurricane season here within the next week or so, but until then we'll keep doing these updates to keep you in the loop uh, as long as we've got waves out there that uh, you know may threaten the United States. So that's the latest on this. We'll have an update on the tropical forecast and of course the upcoming week coming up on the KHLU 11 News at 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching and we'll see you then.